guys, well played. Harry, what an extraordinary result, what an amazing game. Can you just put into words, just a couple of minutes after the game's finished, what it means and all the emotion surrounding it? Yeah, crazy game. Um, we worked so hard for, for so long. Obviously, been 2-1 ahead for, for quite a lot of the second half there. And then to concede the penalty last minute was so, was so heartbreaking. But uh, credit to the boys, we managed to find uh, another chance there at the end. And, Thankfully, I was able to put it away. So um, that's what the Premier League is all about. Great game for for everyone, for the neutral, obviously, and our fans will go and go home happy today. They will, they will. Sonny, you stood in that exact same place maybe an hour before the game, and even though you'd lost three matches in a row, you believed. Why did you believe? How have you just done that? No, I think because we have a group of a, a positive player and positive guys, and I think that means a lot. I mean, um, what I said before the game, I mean, we lost three games in a row, which is... Um, Someone could say, OK, this is down to, down to the hill. But we still believe we work really hard. And for the, this game, especially, I mean, at this time, some point, I think you, you face Manchester City and then you say, OK, this is the worst time. But we thought about uh, maybe it's the best, best time to face them because it's one of the best team in the world. And it seemed like, look, I know Harry's probably going to be quite modest, but it was almost like you all surrounded him at full time. I mean, he's always good. He's the England captain, but... Today was extraordinary, wasn't it? No, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, got, <laughs> he's got so many goals. Uh, I, mean, that, and he, I mean, sometimes, I mean, I was really sad at the uh, start of the season when he didn't score the goals and people were talking and I was quite sad because he was working for the team and he was playing for the team. I mean, uh, you could see today as well, he was working hard. He was, he was uh, with the defenders. Uh, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable player as well, but I mean, unbelievable guy, you know. I mean, uh, next uh, alongside uh, working with him is just uh, it's a big honor. I mean, Harry, you were like a man possessed. So I won't labor the point, but everything that happened in the summer, w was it there a little bit in the back of your mind to come out and just show everything you can do? No, for me, it was three losses in a row, and we had to find a way of getting our, our season back on track. And um, tough place to come, you're playing against one of the best teams in the world. and. Uh, to grind out the result we did was, was really, really special. So, uh, so proud of the boys. Everyone worked their socks off today. Obviously, me scoring the goals, uh, we'll get maybe the headlines, but everyone was outstanding from, from Hugo all the way through. And uh, credit to everyone for bouncing back after a, a really tough week. And hopefully we can build on this now. I wanted to ask you actually about the first goal. It wasn't a goal or an assist, but how do you know that Sonny's making that run? Yeah, no, that's credit. I give credit to the gaffer for that one. Um, we worked a lot during the week. We had a, a week preparation, obviously. And... We knew it was an area where we could hurt them. And, uh, obviously, we connect really well. We have a great understanding on the pitch. And, um, yeah, it was great to see that one come off. So it'd be nice in the, in the video room tomorrow to, to watch that one back because we've been working all week on it. <laughs> Do you know, actually, Sonny, but now after today, your assist for Harry's first goal, no two Premier League players have combined for more goals ever. You, this took you level with Drogba and Lampard. So we're waiting for long, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, feels, it feels like you've been nearly there for a while, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, true, true. But I mean, uh, this is a really, this is great record. This is, I mean, historical. So I mean, I didn't do many things here. This guy is just sometimes I, I cross the ball and he's uh, inside box and finishing so well. So I mean, we're glad to have this uh, this record. And I mean, I hope many more to come as well. You said Harry earlier. It's been a tough week. The kind of media circus, which I know I'm a part of, but ha has it been a, a tricky one? Yeah, I mean, not just from the media point of view, I just think from, from our point of view as well, you know, we, we have high standards of ourselves and uh, we've got ourselves in a position where we could really fight for the top four. And then obviously last week, two home games was really disappointing in the way, uh, not just losing, but the way we lost as well. So, um, but like I said, it's football's about bouncing back. Uh, you can't get too high or too low. And uh, like I said, the, the performance we put out there today shows uh, that we're fighting until the end. And uh, hopefully, like I said, we can uh, use this as momentum going forward. Is, yeah, you just said that. Is it a glimpse of what Tottenham can be again moving forward? Yeah, I mean, it's not a time to get too carried away. We've, been, uh, we've had games like this before. I think what we've got to learn is how to be more consistent over a long, a long season, you know. Uh, it can't just be one-off games where we pick up amazing results like this if we want to be uh, competing in the top four. Uh, it needs to be on a consistent basis. So, of course, we'll enjoy it, but um, we've got plenty of high in the Premier League. Every game's a hard game. So, uh, we go Burnley away uh, midweek. They're fighting for their lives, so we know it'll be a tough one. Well done, both of you. Well thank done. Thank you very much. Thank well you. played. Brilliant. Thank you, thank you, thank you.